Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, finishing up our fun month of sweatshirt pattern hacks with the last one today. Today we're going to be adding a neckband, doing short sleeves, and more importantly, this twist hem. So I'm gonna show you step by step how to get this twisted hem look, and I'll show you on the pattern all the modifications I made to get this. First, let's take a look at the pattern alterations that we're going to need to do to make this top. So here is the pattern, and you're going to want to trace out the front and the back separately to do these alterations because they're not going to share the similar shoulder and neckline anymore. First thing you need to do is, this is the front, you want to add a seam allowance down center front and just extend the neckline to meet that seam allowance. Then, you need to decide how wide of a band you're going to want at the bottom of the shirt. So I would suggest doing um, two inches, which is the width of the band already. And then you need to add to that two inches um, a seam allowance on each side, so you get to three inches there. And so what we're doing here is, um, let's just pretend that that's three inches. What you want to do is add that onto the bottom of the piece here. So it's gonna look like this. And to determine this length, you actually need to measure this part because you want to make sure this line and this line match each other. So if this one is that long, it's like one and three quarter, then I need to make sure that this comes down one and three quarter as well. Ooh, I guessed that pretty good just by eyeballing it. So you've got a 90 degree angle here and then these two match. And actually I would suggest going ahead and adding a little extra onto this tail piece that you're gonna cut because you can always cut it off if it doesn't get used up in the twist. So this is what your front pattern piece is going to look like. Now, because we're not sewing a band onto this anymore, you need to make sure that however much of a band that you added here, you add that to the back piece. So again, I added approximately three inches, uh, but that's going to have some taken off from the seam allowance. So there's gonna be half inch here and half inch here taken off. I'd say go ahead and add three inches on the back and then if they don't match up, you can always cut the extra off at the side seam before you sew the back to the front. And that way, that is less math for you to think about. All right, so add some to the back as well. Now, if you don't want this hanging down as long as the pattern, I would kind of hold the pattern up to yourself, you may actually want to crop it before you make these alterations because this might, you might find that you like it better in a little bit more of a cropped length, but this is going with the full length pattern. Okay, then on the sleeve, I went ahead and kind of went like this on the sleeve and just chopped it off. So I drew like a nicer curve when I did it, but you're only gonna use that very top portion of the sleeve since this is going to be short sleeve. And then finally, you're going to need a neck band so what you wanna do is measure your neckline pieces minus the shoulder seam allowances. You wanna measure on the seam line, not on the neck edge. And then you want to multiply that times 0.8 or 0.9 depending on the fabric that you are using. I'm using a really stretchy four-way stretch rayon. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply mine times 0.8 and then add a seam allowance to that and cut that neckline out. It's two inches wide and that long. Um, you, if your fabric is less stretchy, you might want to multiply times 0.85 or 0.9 even. And again, you can always cut it longer, baste it in, check it, and then cut it shorter if that was too long. Um, it's always easier to do that than to go and have something that's too short and have it like pinching your neckline in. So cut out all of these pieces out of your fabric, and as I mentioned, it's pretty important what kind of fabric you choose. You're going to want something that has four-way stretch, because this piece especially is going to need to stretch um, vertically, because it's going to get swung over to the side and need to stretch around the body that way. So make sure your fabric has four-way stretch. All right, let me show you how to sew this together. 
Here is my shirt front, and the first thing I'm going to want to do is place it right sides together, which I already have it that way, and then stitch down that center front seam, and I want to stop right at the same level, actually half inch before the um, what would normally have been the hem. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and mark that for myself. And then I'm going to stitch this using a stretch stitch. I'm using the lightning bolt one on my sewing machine. You can also use a zigzag. Just make sure it stretches. Now right here, if your machine um, isn't using a stitch that kind of has a built-in back stitch like this lightning bolt, you are going to want a back stitch. Okay, once you have that stitched to that point, you want to go ahead and remove your pin, and then you're going to want to open this out flat and go ahead and press this seam open. And then you want to continue down the um, extension pieces that we added. You want to continue pressing there. And then we're going to stitch that edge down because this is actually going to end up being a hem. I know it sounds crazy now, but you want this pressed and stitched down to the wrong side. Here's what this looks like once I've pressed and stitched those edges. And you'll notice I started at one end and I came up and I went across and then back down so I could do this pretty much in one pass. And now here is where the magic part's gonna come. So we're going to take these and flip them over like this and then take each piece and cross it back to its own side. So you're crossing it twice to create that twist in the middle. And then we want to pin those raw edges that are remaining together. Okay, so get as close to the twist as you can, matching raw edges. And then let's match up the other side as well. So we're matching this raw edge and this raw edge. Your hem should be facing up towards you. And then again, pin from the outside as close as you can get to that twist. Okay, so here's what the bottom of our shirt front currently looks like. I've got the hems pointing up and facing up towards me on the wrong side, and then I've got those raw edges. So I'm going to stitch as close to the knot as I can get, and then I will back stitch, pick, uh, cut the thread, pick up my needle, and I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay y'all, here is what that twisted bottom hem looks like now. So you can see that those edges that you hemmed before, they're now at the bottom and we have this seam. And now what we need to do is double check our back pieces. You want to make sure that your back piece on the side seam is only the hem, or half an inch is what I use in this case, um, longer than the Actually, this will be easier if I keep it folded. So you only want the hem amount longer than the front side seam. And if they are different than that, you're going to want to trim. Here I'm matching my arm size. There is the side seam, and you can see I added too much here for this hem, unless I wanted to fold it up. Actually, I don't have enough. I can't fold it up that much. So what I want to do is um, mark this, and I'm going to cut off everything but a half inch longer than this piece. Now that I've got my back pattern piece the correct length, I want to go ahead and place this right sides together with the front and stitch across the shoulder seams and then insert the sleeves. If you need help with any of those steps, go see the original hoodie video where I do that. 
What I am going to come back for is to show you how I end up resolving the hem here. Okay y'all, I've gone ahead and sewn in the sleeves, I've sewn the side seams, and you'll notice that when I did the side seams, I pressed open the seam where um, I sewed the twist band, and so all I've got left is this little extra half inch on the back here. And what I'm going to do there is just open these up, trim off some extra threads here, and I'm going to go ahead and fold that one up, and then I can start my stitching on the front edge right here, matching it up, stitch that in place so that this stays open, and continue stitching across the back. So I'm going to go ahead and press the rest of this hem with the iron and then I'll show you what this looks like when it's done. All right, y'all, here we go. We've got the twist in the front. We've got the hem in the back. And all this shirt needs now is a neckband, which I have a whole video just about sewing neckbands. So I will be linking to that and you can check that out. And if you already know how to sew in a neckband, go ahead and do that. All right, here is the finished sweatshirt with the neckband sewn in, and it really barely resembles the original sweatshirt pattern at this point. To take a look at all the hacks that we've done this month, make sure you check out that playlist so that you can see all the different ways you can change it up.